Should, uh, well, this year, should there be another PlayStation um, showcase? Now, as most were aware, uh, PlayStation had the showcase two days ago. Now, the showcase wasn't a full-on disaster. You know, it wasn't like a 0 out of 10 or 2 out of 10. Now, it... The problem with the showcase was, for for me especially, yes, there were good games shown. Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed, you know, that Phantom Blade game looks amazing. But there wasn't enough first party games there. There simply wasn't enough first party games there. Now, inside a game and wrote an article yesterday uh, by Tom Henderson, and he's basically saying the games are done, more or less done. So he's confused to us of why. They haven't really shown any first party uh, trailers. Stella Blade, where was that at? Sand Hill 2, where was that at? You know, Wolverine. You would have thought they'd shown a trailer of Wolverine, but that's coming out next year. You know, stuff like that. It makes you really confused, like, why the hole's on the back for? Now, don't get me wrong, PlayStation are re not really under a lot of pressure to release these games. They've had a very successful couple of years. Console sales are on a halt all time high. I mean, they've got Final Fantasy 16 coming out, which is probably going to break records regarding sales. Same as same as Spider Man Two is. But it would have been the perfect time because the console sales are like on an all time high. It would have been the perfect time to show what the to what's coming on in the future. It would have been perfect. It would it would probably even show them more consoles to get people excited. People would have bought the console because, oh, I want to play this game, I'm going to buy the console. You get what I mean? So it, it, it was a wasted opportunity. But at the same time, who's to say in a month or two, maybe two or three months, they might not do another showcase or a state of play showing you what's going to come, obviously, the rest of this year and into early next year. We just don't know. We don't know what's obviously going to happen. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just very confused how they've kept the first party stuff like to a different day. Like, you show all your big stuff at the showcase. You know what I mean? That's where you show your big games at the showcase. Now, we, see, we saw Spider-Man 2, of course, which I expected. Game looks incredible, as expected. So, Spider-Man 2 is going to break records, and Final Fantasy 16 is going to break records. So, yes, they have got uh, good good games coming out, of course. But, regarding first party, I mean, all of that is for Spoken. And, what else? Actually, no, for Sp didn't for Spoken come out? I got, yeah, the yeah, Spoken come out last this year. So the Wrath for Spoken, which is a Square Enix game, isn't fair. That isn't, well, it is sort of first party because it's exclusive. But a, the studio that made for Spoken is not a first party PlayStation studio, you know. Uh, same as Sentinel 2. Um, Sentinel 2, when it comes out, it's not a first party studio, but it's a timed exclusive to PlayStation. That's what PlayStation do quite a lot. They do these timed exclusives, which is what makes them successful. I think that's what Xbox should do as well at the show. When, when Xbox Showcase happens, that's what they need to do. They need to show a few timed exclusives. You know, big games that are coming out. Timed exclusives to Xbox. You know. Um, but yeah, first party this year for PlayStation hasn't been the best. Last year it was incredible. I think they released about four or five f first party games for PlayStation last year. And when you consider it this year, they've only released... Well, they haven't released anything. Well, yeah, they've released the, the Forza... Not Forza. Horizon. Forbidden West DLC. Uh, we've had that. I can't think of anything else, to be honest with you. Um, so the release for Spoken, Horizon DLC. Obviously, they're going to release Spider Man. Uh, Stellar Blade is still in. Well, I think it's coming out in 2023. I don't know. I mean, I was hoping to see Stellar Blade at the showcase, but it, it didn't show up. So, should PlayStation have another showcase this year? I think they should. Um, I don't think they should call it a showcase, though. What I think they should call it is, is a first-party lineup. Uh, you know, first-party lineup. What to expect? Um, do like a big, massive state-of-play event where it's like thirty to forty-five minutes explaining what's coming in the near future regarding first-party only. So don't just don't include any third-party games. Include first-party because people, including me, are very confused of what to expect from PlayStation over the next from now until next year. You know what I mean? So we're like to do like some sort of state of play event where they show what's going to come this year, the rest of this year, and obviously into next year as well.
So leave a comment below, guys. Do you agree with me? But like I said, the, the PlayStation Showcase wasn't very bad. It just lacked first party. So leave a comment below. Do you agree with me or not? So like watching the video, guys. If you like the video, of course, please give the video a like. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And a huge shout out to Smarties, Vichy and I, just for live streams and Floppy. They're YouTube members. Don't forget to become a YouTube member. You'll get a shout out at the end of, at the end of every single video. Just like this. So don't forget to leave a comment below, guys. Do you think PlayStation should hold another showcase state to play before the year ends? See what's coming in the near future? Let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching. You're all amazing. I appreciate your support. Take care. See you in the next video.